Don't look up. I know you have no face left. What? And I don't know you. I'm not the torturer, madam. I never thought you were. I thought someone was just playing a nasty trick on me. Is anyone else coming? No, madam. No one else is coming. Oh, it's just these sofas. They're hideous. You can have mine if you want. Oh, you mean the clarity color one? That one didn't match my outfit. The only one that would work in a picture is this gentle service. Did you hear that, Mr. Carson? Oh, you mean the sofas? Uh, yes, madam. My name is Joseph. My name is Inez Serrano. Nice to meet you. Joseph Carson. Do you require me any longer? No, no. You can go. I'll read you what I want to. You look very pretty. I wish I had some flowers to welcome you. You too. Yes, last week. What about you? Quite recently. Yesterday, in fact. Did you suffer much? No, I was half conscious, mostly. What was it? Pneumonia. And what about you? The gas stove. Mr. Carson? Four bullets to the chest. What a crowd in Whitefriars Lane. They've set trestles in a row with a scaffold and a knife and a pail of bran below. Come, good folks, to Whitefriars Lane. Come to see the merry show. The headman rose at crack of dawn. He'd lay all day's work in hand, chopping heads of generals, priests and peers and admirals, all the highest in the land. What a crowd in Whitefriars Lane. See them standing in a line. Ladies all dressed up so fine, but their heads have got to go. Heads and hats rode down below. Come, good folks, to Whitefriars Lane. Come to see the merry show. Excuse me, do you have a glass? Any glass would do. A pocket mirror. Yes, I think I do. No! It's gone. They must have taken it from at the entrance. How tiresome. How so? I feel so clear. You're lucky. I'm not. I always am conscious of my mind. Ah, oh, yes, in your mind. But everything that goes on in one's head is so vague, isn't it? What a poisonous woman you are! What are you talking about? You're the one. You have to convince me. I'm the one. You're at my mercy. Carson! What? Revenge yourself! How? Kiss me, darling, then you'll hear her squeal! That's true, Inez. I'm at your mercy, but you're also at mine. <laughs> what a coward! <laughs> Screaming to girls to console yourself? That's right, and they'll squeal away! What a lovely pair you guys make. You disgust me. Yes, Garson, she's right. Carry on with it. Don't listen to her pressure lips of my mouth. Oh, I'm yours, yours, yours. Oh. Uh, well, what are you waiting for? Kiss her. Do as what you've been told. Kiss the baby killer, you murderer. Might never come. Never. Will you always see me? Always. This bronze. Yes, now is the moment. I'm looking at this thing on the mantelpiece, and I understand that I am in hell. 
I tell you, everything's been thought out beforehand. They knew I'd stand at this fireplace, stroking this thing of bronze, with all those eyes intent on me, devouring me. What? Only two of you? We heard about the fire and brimstone and melting marble, but those were all wives' tales. Hell is people.